Hi, my name is Katie Geffens and I am a web developer for IBM's Requirements Management software. Today, I will give you a demo on three exciting features in our new 401 release. Multi-level traceability, which creates real-time attribute traceability reports to show attributes for linked artifacts. Link preferences, which simplifies the link creation process by allowing the user to specify preferred links for a given artifact type. And collection compare, which allows the user to discover differences in collections quickly and learn what has changed. I'm going to start by demoing multi-level traceability. Let's say the user is interested in viewing attributes of all artifacts that these features link to. First, they must add the link to column. Next, they must specify which attributes they are interested in viewing. Let's look at the status, the business priority, and the origin. When the link to column loads, you're going to be able to view the specified attributes. Next, I'm going to demo link preferences. By default, when you add a link from an artifact, all link types are listed. If you'd like to constrain this list for a particular artifact type, you can specify the preferred link types. You can do this by going to the Manage Project Properties menu. First, you must select an artifact type and then select a preferred link type. By specifying preferred link types, when you create a link, you select from the preferred link type list instead of all link types. So now, when I create a link from a feature, I can easily create a link of type link to. However, if I want to make a link of a different link type, I can just select the more option. Finally, I'm going to demo collection compare. First, you must navigate to a collection and select the compare collection button. By default, the left collection is the one that you were viewing. You must select a collection to compare it to. You can either select the same collection or a different collection. In this case, I'm going to select the same collection. After you select a collection, the revision dropdown is populated with all the baselines of the specified collection. Make sure to specify a baseline before you create a change report. The change report includes several groups of information, including artifacts only in the left collection, artifacts only in the right collection, artifacts in both collections but at different versions, artifacts in both collections at the same version, Within each group, you can find additional information. For example, this artifact is in both collections, but the stability, primary text, and title contents have changed. Collection Compare will highlight how these content areas have changed. This concludes the demos on multi-level traceability, link preferences, and Collection Compare, which are new features for our 401 release. Thank you for watching.